At some point in most every successful person's life, they have a desire to build their dream home. And here in Alpine, New Jersey, which just happens to be one of the most exclusive and one of the wealthiest residential neighborhoods in all of America, those dream homes come in all shapes and sizes, mostly huge, with price tags to match. And here in Alpine, as well as in nearby Old Tapan, New Jersey, it's not at all uncommon to find a new home going up with the name Spagnola Builders out front, because they build many of these, including this one. In the 20 years since Pete Spagnola founded his company, he has earned an enviable reputation for outstanding quality and extraordinary attention to detail. It's the only way he knows how to build a house. We spent a lot of time, a lot of money, doing more details in the house. It's not a basic house anymore. We do custom kitchens. We build a lot of custom libraries. We'll do basketball courts, movie theaters. One of the most popular additions to new homes these days is home theaters. This one that Pete has installed in this house is really rather unique. Here's the box office with a statue of Humphrey Bogart in the back providing the tickets. Inside, room for 10 of your very closest friends to enjoy any of the latest movies in ideal comfort. This is something special. We really specialize in more trim work, beautiful ceilings. I highly recommend working with Pete. Anytime I had a question, he was more than willing to explain things to me and help me pretty much make up my mind. He was extremely responsive in a timely manner and we truly trusted his, opi his opinion and his judgment. We'd call him, ask him, and he was more than happy to make the changes. He was very, very good to work with. And he not only built us a structure, but he truly built us a home. All these are pieces that we actually build, and once we put it all together, it's one big trimmed opening. We do a lot of coffered ceilings, a lot of moldings. I mean, we'll take more of a basic ceiling. We'll start there. It makes everything look so much nicer. It's all hand done by artists. They'll come in and basically we'll think about a theme of what they want to see in the house and they'll paint different murals and whatnot on different rooms of the house. It even makes my work even look better. What about technology, Pete? How has that impacted the builder's trade, what you do? A lot of plans just have basic line drawings. We'll come in and we'll enhance those and I might have guys spend a day or two or three on one opening. But you know, when that opening's finished, people say, you know, I can't believe the level of detail that's in that molding. Pete, talk to me about that molding that's over your head. You don't go out to Lowe's and buy that kind of thing, do you? No, all done from scratch. We'll have piles of wood, trim, and we just start putting pieces on. And before you know it, you start building on it and on it. And before you know it, you have a beautiful uh, detailed trimmed opening. I have excellent architects from this area that have been doing houses. I've been working for them for years now. Most of the trimmers are Polish descent and they are craftsmen. They've been working for me for years. We want to have our house when we design them, a lot of windows. You want to feel like you're outside instead of a house that has little windows and you feel like you're inside. So by creating a lot of light through lighting or windows, you actually make the outside come in. You feel like you're outside. All of our kitchens, bathrooms, hallways, if there's tile, we have radiant heat in them. So when you're walking with no shoes on, you never have to worry. It's always a warm floor. A lot of people will complain that, you know, when they take their shoes off, their floors are cold. This is all pretty much another thing that differentiates us from other people. The code requires us to use a, you know, minimal size beam on our floor joists and whatnot, which is maybe 10 inch, it could be 12. All of our houses, we oversize everything. You know, at the end of the day, if we put a monster island in, we don't want that to sag one year, two years down the road. I can guide them. I'll spend extra money, but we'll build the floors, the walls to be so solid, they don't have to worry about that down the road, especially when you're building a dream house. Something else I know that you, you do is called construction management. Explain what that is and how it differs from just being a home builder. Construction management is an option where people will entrust a good quality builder to build their house, and basically it's almost as a cost plus. The construction manager is getting a fee to build your house. The homeowner is really directly paying all the other bills on that house. 
but that ensures them that basically they're building a house of the caliber that they want instead of a builder building a house and they'll find that once they're into the house it's costing too much they're not making enough money they're cutting corners and that does happen a lot when there's a fixed fee involved by doing this as long as they trust the person they're working with they're getting top quality at a fair price if you want an idea of how a room comes together basically you have a fireplace that's in the raw we have stone in the raw other houses you've seen are finished basically we'll take a raw fireplace we have stone i'll have my craftsmen come in masons and we'll start building that fireplace there's a raw stage there's raw trim when we're all finished it'll look just like one of the other houses all complete take me through the process of building a home if i wanted you to build one for me and i came to you what would happen pretty much if we're not specking a house and i'm gonna people are gonna hire me to build a house for them either number one they've hired an architect already or they'll ask me who i recommend i will recommend the architect we will send them there it takes usually three months at least design a home after the home is designed then we'll go get the permits and then we'll start to build our house most of our houses are very detailed and detail takes time and you just can't rush it because when you rush anything things either you miss something or they don't come out right so my houses will always take a little longer most of our houses take anywhere from a year 12 months to up to two years depending upon the level of difficulty in the house most of my houses are anywhere from 6,000 feet up to 12 15 20 all the customers at the end are very happy that they waited for their house to be finished. This kitchen here is about a 20 by 18. The client, after I sold the house to them, they said, listen, you know what, can you come in and you know, building something nice, I want something different. So we'd go in and i draw on the wall. So you can see the island, you see different cabinets. So I had one of my carpenters come in and we actually custom built this kitchen. They wanted a big old island, they could put a lot of stuff on it. This is probably maybe 12 by 12, which is a big island. These guys will be trimming houses for us for it could be two months, it could be 12 months. You'd be surprised how much trim work goes into these houses. A lot of times, you know, it's the guy's room, we'll call it. And before you know it, we'll have our guys come in and they'll set up a shop and we'll just build a whole library right from scratch right here. We have bookshelves, floor to ceiling. A lot of times we always want to put a fireplace in there with a built-in around it, TVs, lighting. And then up on top, a lot of times now we're doing a lot of coffered ceilings. Everybody wants the whole library fully paneled. So we'll actually draw it out. We'll build false beams up there. And it looks like an old fashioned library. I just love when things come out different. They come out nice. Most guys that are artists, I guess you can say that, you know, a builder could be an artist too. You have to feel good about what you produce. And every time I do something different, I feel good that, you know what, I went the extra mile. When people are happy and when people walk into the house and say, you know, wow, I can't believe it. For some reason, that makes us feel a lot better. After all is said and done, the point is, whatever someone may want in their dream home, Pete Spagnola can not only do it, he has probably already done it many times. As you've seen, he does magnificent home theaters. As for pool areas like this, he's done them by the dozens. But if your desire is to have a bowling alley in your basement, well, just take a look at what this talented builder can do. There is no question, his is a remarkable story of an extraordinary craftsman. And boy, talk about a conversation piece in your basement. <laughs> How do you top this? I'm Doug Llewellyn reporting from Alpine, New Jersey. Well, that does it for this edition of Close Up on America's Business. I'm Janice Marie. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.